In the grand era of classic cinema, a particular film emerged in 1936 that captured the essence of an evolving industry. San Francisco, a poignant depiction of a city's rise amidst adversity, resonates as an everlasting emblem of Hollywood's prowess. Its enduring qualities lie not only in its compelling narrative, but in the way it encapsulates the era's cinematic prowess and societal reflections. The film's ability to intertwine a gripping storyline with a visual spectacle showcases the craftsmanship that remains timeless, an exemplar of the industry's ability to transcend generations. Its portrayal of resilience and human spirit against the backdrop of historical events solidifies its place as an immortal symbol within cinema's landscape. What cherished memories or personal experiences do you hold of this timeless film? Share your stories and reflections in the comments below. We'd love to hear your perspectives. The movie San Francisco, released in 1936, was primarily shot on MGM sound stages and their backlot. This setting lent a controlled environment for the filmmakers, allowing them to meticulously craft the cityscape of San Francisco in the 1,900 seconds. The decision to film entirely within the studio's confines was a strategic one, enabling a precise representation of the era's atmosphere and architecture. Al Sheen, who portrayed the professor in the movie, had a notable background in vaudeville. As part of the renowned duo Gallagher and Sheen, he contributed significantly to the vaudeville scene and was instrumental in creating sketches that would later propel his nephews, the Marx Brothers, to fame. His involvement in the film added a layer of experience and expertise, enriching the movie's depth through his multifaceted contributions. Spencer Tracy's initial hesitation about portraying a priest due to his devout Catholicism is an intriguing aspect. Despite his concerns, his eventual portrayal of a priest in the movie, and his later award-winning role in Boys Town highlights an interesting trajectory in his career. The film, set against the backdrop of San Francisco's tumultuous history, skillfully captures the essence of the city amidst significant historical events. Its setting, coupled with the performances of the cast, creates a compelling narrative that immerses viewers in a bygone era, exploring themes of love, tragedy, and resilience. Clark Gable found himself in a bind when MGM's Louis B. Mayer, handling Gable's personal affairs, pressed him into a role he initially resisted. Mayer's sway, driven by personal dealings, steered Gable into a film that showcased a seismic event's destructive force. To recreate the earthquake's havoc, the crew built sets on hydraulic lifts and shakers, causing them to convulse violently. This film marked a significant milestone for Spencer Tracy, earning him the first of nine Oscar nominations, propelling him into Hollywood's esteemed spotlight. Despite Gable's initial reluctance and Tracy's rise, the movie encapsulates a pivotal moment in cinematic history, portraying the city amidst tumultuous events, etching its place in film lore. Jeanette MacDonald's influence at MGM propelled her into a leading role alongside Clark Gable in a pivotal film of that era. MacDonald's advocacy for the script, alongside her casting with Gable, created a buzz around this production. Despite their on-set friction, her contribution marked a significant shift in the film's dynamics. Gable's discomfort with MacDonald's singing and deliberate antics during scenes added a unique layer to their on-screen chemistry. This backstage tension mirrored the film's vibrancy, capturing the essence of a city amidst tumultuous events. The clash between these two stars behind the scenes became an intriguing aspect that echoed the film's narrative, emphasizing contrasts within the storyline. The film stands as a testament to both its commercial success and the complexities that unfolded during its making, etching its mark in cinematic history. The character Blackie Norton in the movie drew inspiration from Wilson Misner, a colorful figure known for his exploits in writing and his ties to gambling and the underworld. Misner's persona, a blend of hustler and womanizer, influenced the portrayal of Norton, adding depth to the film's narrative. This connection to a real-life personality adds a compelling layer to the character's development, offering insight into the era's intriguing personalities and backgrounds. The film's creators found inspiration in Misner's colorful life, weaving it into the storyline to create a memorable character that resonated with audiences. The legacy of this portrayal echoes beyond the screen, providing a glimpse into the vibrant, albeit shadowy, aspects of the time. 
The dress worn by Jeanette MacDonald in the song Would You became a notable crossover costume when Judy Garland donned it in a later movie, For Me and My Gal in 1942. This shared wardrobe piece not only symbolizes the continuity and reuse within Hollywood, but also showcases the interconnectedness of iconic costumes across different films and eras. The adaptation of costumes from one production to another highlights the resourcefulness and practicality of the entertainment industry, giving audiences a subtle link between two separate cinematic experiences, underscoring the lasting impact of certain wardrobe choices in film history. Jeanette MacDonald's decisive choice of Spencer Tracy marked a pivotal shift in the 1936 movie. Tracy, previously typecast, underwent a career transformation in this film, shifting from his usual roles to a significant supporting part. MacDonald's influence, leveraging her position, steered the casting decision, reshaping Tracy's trajectory in Hollywood. This move not only altered Tracy's career, but also impacted the movie's dynamics, contributing to its lasting significance in cinematic history. Interestingly, this film's realistic portrayal of the earthquake, though impactful, did not lead to an Academy Award for Best Special Effects. It prompted the inception of that category two years later to acknowledge such remarkable cinematic feats. Erich von Stroheim's covert involvement, adding lines to the script unbeknownst to Louis B. Mayer, added a clandestine layer to the movie's creation, further enriching its narrative tapestry. These intertwined decisions and behind-the-scenes actions shed light on the intricate web of choices shaping this iconic movie, echoing their enduring impact in the world of film. Clark Gable and Jeanette MacDonald's on-set clashes during the movie hinted at a tense relationship, extending beyond the screen. Their discord offset led to a complete avoidance of each other. Meanwhile, an uncredited D.W. Griffith, in his final acting endeavor, directed several scenes, leaving an indelible mark on the film's creation. Interestingly, this marked the culmination of his career in a role that stayed behind the curtains. This backstage tension and Griffith's silent yet significant influence added layers to the movie's narrative, emphasizing both the discord and the hidden contributions shaping its storyline. As the curtains draw near on our cinematic journey, consider the allure of a timeless masterpiece, a celluloid gem that echoes the soul of a bygone era. Delve into the sepia-toned allure of a cityscape captured in frames of nostalgia, where the echoes of 1930s harmonies still dance in the air. Reflect on the emotions stirred, the melodies that linger, and the characters whose tales remain etched in the heart's archive. How did this cinematic mosaic weave its way into your life's narrative? Perhaps it ignited a passion for the golden age of Hollywood, or kindled a fascination for historical dramas that whisper tales of an era long past. Whether it was the grandeur of the silver screen or the poignant resonance of the storyline that etched an indelible mark, share your musings, anecdotes, or even fleeting thoughts the cinematic opus has stirred within. In the tapestry of memories and impressions, your voice adds a vibrant hue, enriching the collective appreciation for this cinematic gem. So, want you share your reflections and join in this celebration of a movie that transcends time. Thank you for lending your thoughts and moments to this cinematic canvas. Your perspective enriches our appreciation for this treasured film.